boys, listen to me, right? You've got to hear me out. I know you think it's me that's hold, handed you over to Interpol. I promise you, it's, it's not me. I've heard through the grapevine, something big is coming that's going to land you both in prison. You have to trust me. I need to talk to you both face to face. I can't, I can't do this over the phone. It's too risky. Come and meet me. I know where you are. Come and meet me. I hope to see you both very soon. He has absolutely no clue where we are. Or oh, there'd be Interpol and Feds swarming this place as we speak. Wow. And how does he keep getting my number? It's doing me in. Seriously, have you seen the desperation in his eyes? I'm guessing his skin just wants a reward money. And we have been riding our luck, mate. I know. Dodge a little identity, trying to carry on with our career. But this road could be coming to an end at some point. We might have to think about what we're going to do. Could just do with him disappearing. Mate, no. I know you know a guy. We're not going to have him murdered. Although your alien friends could dump him on another planet. And they might have to take us with him. Because I don't know what we're going to do. This just feels like the net's closing in. But, I'm going to put it to the back of my mind, he doesn't know where we are. He hasn't got a clue what we're up to. So we just need to concentrate on this brand new season. A big season, man. European qualifiers. Hello and welcome to episode 26 of The Road to Anywhere, our journeyman adventure. As always, thanks for joining me. Thanks for everything you do for my channel. Thanks for all the support with this series. But mainly thank you for your view, you beautiful person, you. So here we are. It's the 2nd of September. We're going into a brand new season with the Queen of the South. And I've hit that free transfer market again. As you can see, I've brought in a lot of players, scouted them. Um... They're all from England. Uh, I signed a couple of players towards the end because of injuries, so I dipped back in. The last one, to be fair, cracking player. I'm, gl I'm kind of glad he had the injury or I wouldn't have signed him. Um, but no outs. There's a few players left on a free, um, but they're not on there. I think they're left at the end of the season. And a few I've, I've just put down to the reserves. But we're looking strong, I think. And I wasn't, I wasn't thinking we'd win the title. But I wanted to do something this year. I wanted to keep moving the club forward. So let's quickly run through the new boys. And we'll start off with Egbert Jolly, who I think is a fantastic player. Signed him on a free from Villa, 24 years old. Louis Long, 25 years old from Achrington. I think he's from Birmingham, to be fair. Um, left winger. Jed Horn from Peterborough, 24 years old. Centre half. Louis Davis from Cambridge. Uh, he's only 22. I mean, some good ages here. He's a right winger. Craig Phillips, again from, well, not from Accrington. He's from West Brom. Um, but yeah, a couple of lads who must have been loaned to Accrington. Stanley, he's 27 years old and he's going to be a backup goalkeeper, giving me three goalies. Two good backups this year. Jermaine Pennery, 24 years old from Blackpool, central midfielder. Next up is Liam Casey Funnell. Funnel, uh, 23 years old. He is Irish and also a central midfielder. Love this name, Franklin Chuck Woody, 28 years old, left back. Not the best, coming in as a backup really. Ben Webb, who's 25 years old, came from Hull, he's played for Sheffield Wednesday as well. Um, right back, can kind of cover all over defence, but I think he looks, he looks strong for this league. And then the man I picked up last minute, like deadline day last minute, who I wouldn't have gone for if I didn't get an injury. And I, I, I'm proper chuffed that I ended up getting him because not only is it worth a good few million, but he's a fantastic defender and Joshua Adesina. Ades, Ades, Adesina. My God! How would you say that? Answer on a postcard. Bucky's aren't fancying us though. They never do. They never do. But um, fully expect us to not challenge for the league, but be up there, especially in the championship group at the end of the season, going for third, going for fourth. Well, that was my target. Well, this was going to be, not necessarily for us, maybe, maybe it is. Or maybe for someone else. A very historical season in Scotland. Pre-season was alright. Had a few games. Won a couple. Lost kids testimonial, which was a bit unhappy about. We got beat off Portsmouth. But only had a couple because, of course, we had qualifiers for Europe. Could we do what I did with the mighty Viking in Norway? No. No, we're out of Europe. We didn't qualify for the group stage. Uh, we had Locomotive Tbilisi, who we drew 1-1 with, then beat 2-1, which was great. And then we faced Malmo, who beat us 2-1 and 2-0. Sad. Gutted. Um, we're not as good as the Viking team. But I don't know, I felt like I could get a little bit further than this. So yeah, I was, I was really disappointed. 
I'm proper disappointed. This year though, mainly I reckon because we're in Europe, I'm guessing so, let me know if you're Scottish, no group stage qualifiers for the Premier Sports Cup. Straight into the second round, I played Dundee, beat him 3-2 with a goal in the 109th minute for Mr Longworth the legend um, and went to the quarterfinals against Motherwell and of course we're also in the Scottish Cup which we got to the final of last year getting beat of Rangers which was some achievement um, obviously out of Europe we'll see what happens in the Premier Cup I'm, I'm not going to be team that because that's all you know I really want to go for things what I try and do well and it's the league um, but I think a lot of us talk about this people have mentioned in the comments I've talked about it with other people who play the game and I think once you get into a league it does make it better just you being in there as a human um, and I think this year's Premiership was going to be very competitive now you may have noticed the league I started as well at this point because obviously I've waited to get to my final squad to start the episode so I've played four league games and it's been a bit so-so uh, beat Hearts got beat off Dundee United beat Ross County and then Drew which I think is absolutely fantastic this is a result for a team like us against a powerhouse like Celtic 1-1 on telly for the world to see now my staff has expanded and a few did get poached again. Uh, my assistant manager got stolen. He's gone off to Scandinavia to some team. I, I don't I don't know. I think it's some team in Sweden I've never heard of. Bit gutted. So I've had a new assistant in. We've got new coaches in. Still got the best staff. Hopefully it's going to help us. We need all the help we can get. This is the squad arranged by ability. I'm not going to go through all of it because... You'll know most of the players from the last episode. I don't want to bore you with that. It does take ages. Um, it's Kieran Wharton who got injured. I think he's out for two or three months. Um, and he just got injured. So it was a case of shit. Jump in. See if in the last minute freebies. And we found Joshua to replace him. So I think we look really strong. George Barrett is a great goalkeeper. We've got Jonathan Bell. Who I think breaks into the international team this year for Northern Ireland. Still got people like Mr. Eon. Ewan. Eon. Oyon. Mr. O'Brien, um, who's been one of my best players. Longworth, who, you know, he's not a world beater, but he scores goals. We've got a good team. And I really want to get back in that top four. Maybe do a bit better. I've now jumped forward to the 17th of December. And we are currently fourth on 29 points. But when I said there's going to be a historical season, it's going to be because out of nowhere, Hibs have become a force. And are seven points clear at this point. Can they hang on to that? I mean, it'd be mad if they did um, Rangers though it's not a slide aren't they won the league by 20 points when we were in the championship lost it last year by 2 and then they've just started so so this year aren't they but we're still in there we're still not we're not far off Celtic and Dundee United but then his team's not far away from us it's it's become really competitive and that's what you want and um, obviously we had a lot of new players coming in I think it took time to bed in but I think consistency was going to be a lot harder for me this year. Before I show you the results in the league, we've got to jump straight to this because the top of the screen would give it away. And here it is. We've made another cup final. And again, it's going to be against Rangers. Now, unfortunately, cups like this, they're halfway through the season. I can't live comment. I couldn't live comment. I've had to play it and we're going to have a look at the result later. Um, obviously, Rangers beat us in the Scottish Cup last year. Um, I mean, I wish I could have shared it with you, but then... I can't, I can't film it, I can't do it, and then I have to play the rest of the season, you know how it works, hopefully by now. Um, but we beat Motherwell 4-1, then we beat Dundee United in a cracking game, 3-2. Um, although, look at the goals. We're, we're trying our best to throw it away. And then we got Rangers, but Rangers are struggling this year. Now if we go over to the league results, you'll see it's been a mixed bag. Really struggled for a bit of form, don't get me wrong, we've had a good period there where we were undefeated. But then I've lost my last two games in the league against two, to two teams that were above me, which is unfortunate. Against Selic, only beat me 1-0. Hibs was 2-1. Um, but we drew with Rangers. That's pretty good. Uh, Hibs beat me there as well, the bastards. Uh, they're a fucking team this year. They're not a tycoon takeover or anything. They've, it's just click for them. Things have come together. A quick look at the squad arranged by Average Rating. And you'll see we've got some good greens and a lot of guys are coming into form, which is good. We have had a few injuries, a few fitness worries, but you know, we've got a big squad and kind of been able to shoulder it sometimes and, you know, carry that burden. But I mean, at times they've been great and at times they've fell flat, but I still believe in them as a group and the fact that, you know, they've cost me nothing. Actually, I've kind of told a lie with that. This year I spent nothing, last year I spent nothing, the year before I spent nothing, sort of. 
But do you know when you sign a player sometimes on a free, you have to pay compensation. I had to pay 86 grand for one player. So in three seasons, I've spent 86 thousand pounds and that's it which is to me absolutely insane but the boys are doing all right i think we could score more goals um but they're good i really enjoy it love it eh? love it but how do we get on in this cup final well what a final well 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 what a final we won it right why couldn't this be the end of the season so we could have put it in the episode it'd been absolutely fantastic to share this live with you just because of what happened in the game you can see kind of the drama that went on in this game and they were the better team but my boys just found something special but it was the same old story to start this game off i mean they scored early what ninth minute dinks me keeper and then near what 10 minutes ish later this lad con martin gets it in just seems to walk through everyone slots in the bottom right corner but then they had a penalty miss then a goal disallowed and then we got a penalty but we need to score from open play and that was about to happen right now in front of your eyes kids with a vision kids kid with a vision pass to longworth <gasps> wow and then in extra time we get a penalty i can't lie the emotion the giddiness i was jumping around like a freaking madman so i know it's only the premier sports cup but to beat rangers who were very good to be fair who might not be the best team this year that or the team they've been in previous years the team that beat me in the big cup last year kind of bit of revenge um it was just nice to win just really sad we couldn't share it together live and then this happened a few months later finalist last year didn't beat team it not beating extra time one nil off morton you genuinely cannot explain this game sometimes i mean football is a funny game in it but this game as well can be pretty strange no b team went for that i thought let's get past them do you know what i mean why not when we got the league in this let's go for it and in the league at this time we are currently four on 59 points dunfermline in third check that out but hibs still top of the league top of the league and rangers in six wow so reverse the dates and the championship group is about to start i've highlighted dundee i think that's the next game um, since you've last seen obviously we went back to back defeats didn't we against Celtic and Hibs um, and again it was a bit patchy we've had little groups of undefeated runs um, but you know we've got a few nil nils too many draws but some good results drew with Rangers and um, got beat off Celtic again which is a bit dump did beat Hibs though um, which is fantastic beat Aberdeen in my last game 3 nil, and of course now we're going into the top half group the championship group Five games to play. Got three at home again, which is a nice little advantage, hopefully. And hopefully we can just push on from last year. Because last year we finished fourth, which is awesome, on 68 points. But not only do I want to at least get that amount of points, I want to try and go for third. So in the championship, we played Dundee United first, beating them 1-0. Should have scored more. I always say that, but we definitely should have. We then got beat off Rangers. It's Rangers. Although... I think we were the better team this time funny old game and possibly one of my favorite results even more than that cup final against rangers we beat celtic i think it's the first time and nothing against celtic it's just it's celtic <laughs> do you know what i mean this is massive in our little championship group and it's just massive for us and us as a club to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and beat them in longworth to bag both goals and yeah such a good game we followed that up with this a 1-1 and this was frustrating because this is a game we definitely should have won and a goal disallowed near the end which is always a good kick in the balls so it leaves us with one game to play which is going to be the live comp against hibs at home who are champions so when i said it was a historic season it's kind of i was kind of telling the truth for both of us we've won a cup they've won the league hibs have won the league rangers in fifth now we are third on 66 points and we're playing the champions um, we've beat them though so you know there's a chance they've got two of the best players in the league although I've got the best but things go wrong we could go back down four and if we get beat I'll have less points than I did last year so is that really progression I yeah, don't know we won a trophy I don't know it's up to you to decide but I want third so here we go now we are not at our best um, I've got backup wingers on um, i got a backup in the central midfield because I've got so many really tired players players come back from injury so we're not at our best and now that's no excuse it's still a good side they still could perform they still could get a win um 
but it would just be nice to go out on a high and go at Hibs, who are now champions, which is mint. It's good to see someone else win the league, innit? And this is what I'm saying, like, when you when you come into a league as a human, it does seem to get better. I've seen this so many times where the guys who are always at the top, when you come into that league, can start to follow a bit. Rangers have, have spent a lot of money, it's quite surprising. Hibs have spent now and won the league. We spent nothing and we're competing. I mean, you really could keep pushing and pushing, I think, if you keep the players, because this whole squad is locked in for years, good few years, Queen in the South, and no one's got a minimum fee. You could, I think they could grow, because they're all quite young as well. There's some of these guys I'm picking up on a free. They're coming from England, don't get me wrong. Uh oh, there you go. But like 22, 23, 24, good ages. You've guessed from the thumbnail that this could be the last episode. No, it could. We're definitely getting towards the end of that road. And I'm, I'm, we're kind of hinting towards it. Um, because, you know, Football Manager comes out on the 8th of November. I'll be getting it two weeks before. I'll be doing a little beta. And I just want a week or two off before the beta of doing nothing. But maybe doing, doing a little prep for the channel. But no Football Manager. Go on, Longworth. Oh. I was getting myself ready for FM23 and just having a breather because I love this game and I could play it forever, but sometimes you just need a little break. I mean, you know, when I had holiday recently in France, I took it with me and I was playing it there. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, just have a breather because I really want to go straight into FM23, fully fresh, hitting it hard. So, there might be a video or two I might put out. Maybe. Probably. There will be. Um... But we're going to chill out a little bit. I mean, I've chilled it out a bit recently anyway, because we're getting to the Aussie end of FM23. We want two videos a week, three if you were lucky. Um, but, you know, I've got a lot of ideas for next year and I can't wait. I can't wait to get going. It's always exciting to have a new game and get stuck into it, even though most of the time it's pretty much the same freaking game, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Right, come on, boys. Here's Warner to Long to Casey. Go on, Jolly. Oh, what an effort. Here we go. Bell. Cracking pick up, Bell. Cracking pick up he's been. But yeah, I've absolutely loved this. Loved it. I have to come back to Scotland one day. So it's half time. Um, I mean, we've been playing better than the champs. What have they got to play for? They've got the trophy. You know what I mean? Just need to relax, don't they? Let us get some points. Now, what I will say is, obviously, the Road to Anywhere has been out now, I think, four years. Um, but the last two years, we've had my CCPO with me. And the story carried over from FM 21 to this one, FM 22. And the story's going to be carrying over again into FM23, but whoa, there will be changes for me. I'm going to try and make it a lot harder for myself. This year was a bit lazy, I'll be honest with you. I felt like I did everything last year, and I just wanted to carry it on this year, story-wise. So, you know, my coaching badges, I kept them. I kept everything that I'd achieved there, kind of. And that's kind of helped maybe help me. Do you know what I mean? Be successful this time now. But it's not going to be the case. On FM23, oh, Bell, what a finish. Tight angle, 1 0. Yeah, seriously, we're going to be random as anything to start off with. And it's going to be more of a traditional journeyman like it used to be back in the day on the road to anywhere where, you know, I'm really going to be struggling and I'm going to be hopefully challenged and I want to work my way up. This 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 year, unlike last year and the years before, I've avoided a lot of the big teams. Not, I mean, Ajax was my biggest club. Whereas next year, I want to work my way up to a massive club one day. I also want to do a bit of international football. It's one thing we haven't done this year. I've done it in the past. But yeah, I'll do that. I'm chatting. Um, but I want to do that. And Rangers are beating Selic. <gasps> well, there you go. Last game of the season. We've won 1 0 against the champions. We were better than them. Probably should have scored more. Pretty proud of the boys. What a good little team this is. So jump forward to the 20th of May so we can wrap up the season, see everything that happened. And Hearts just got beat by St. Johnston in the playoffs. So Hearts are going down with St. Mirren while their rivals have won the league. But we finished third. Point more than last year, but a spot higher. So that, to me, is improvement. Best player in the league. Mr. O'Brien, I mean, I swear to God, never has any interest. Do you know what I mean? But he's a baller. Absolute baller. And he cost me nothing. Best thing ever. And this was insane. Yeah, St. Mirren. Partick Thistle in the Scottish Cup final. Why couldn't I got one of them too? Last year instead of Rangers, might have had two trophies for Queen of the South. But what a final, eh? How good's that? What a season, historic season. Really, isn't it? Because if you think about it, Hibs won the league. We won the Premier Cup. St. Mirren won the Scottish Cup. No Rangers, no Celtic. It's like the league's come alive. And I won Scottish Players Manager of the Year and Football's Writer Manager of the Year again. Proper happy with that. 
happy with everything I've achieved so far. And there we go. I won some awards and we've got them a proper trophy. I know we won the championship, but that's a proper trophy for the cabinet of Queen of the South. But what a career, man. Seriously. Indonesia, Malaysia, China, South Korea. Love that period. It was so much fun. And off to Poland and Holland and then Colombia. Then two, two clubs in Argentina over two years, which was insane. River was fun. And then Norway, which just surprised me. I basically went for that job because of the name. And that was the last time I went for a job when my career got good and I just got jobs. After that, to the Queen of the South job just... In my, honestly, trying to find a job, it was like it just would not have it. Not give me a job anywhere. I, I was panicking, but I fell to a club like Queen of the South, which I wouldn't have imagined. And here we are, three seasons. It's been a ton of fun, but is it over? You never know, dear. You? you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's at the end of that road. Hello? Yes, this is Agent Smith. I think we can arrange a deal for your client, as long as they deliver the two fugitives' exact location to me. Once I have them both in my custody, I will put together the relevant paperwork and send it over to you. You're doing business with you. Well, then, mate, what a season! So proud of what we've achieved. I think this is our best work so far in our career. Loads more free signings. We picked up a trophy, a couple of awards. Yeah, I love it. Love Scotland, love Queen of the South. If things go our way and things don't catch up with us, we could stay here for year, years. Why do I look worried? It's an unknown number. Who is it? Oh, Greeno, seriously, seriously, how do you keep getting my number? Can you just leave us alone? Just give it up. Give it a rest. Honestly, we don't want to know. We're not going to tell you where we are. And we are just going to keep on moving. And you just need to move on with your life, mate. All right? Bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't hang up, right? I've got an untraceable phone just in case the feds are listening. Look, promise me, do not hang up. Have you spoken to Brian Kane recently? Yes, I have. He's my friend and he's coming to see us. Did you tell him where you are? Well, of course I did. He's coming in for a holiday, staying at my house. Trust me, Boot. I know we've had our differences. We haven't always got on, but I've always had your back. Brian Kane will not be showing up at your house. It will be Interpol and they're coming to arrest you. What the hell are you talking about? Look, I know you thought it was me that grasped you up in Holland. I never did it. I was angry. But I, at the time, I didn't know who did it. But this time I do. Brian Kane has given you up. He's given up your location to an Interpol agent and they will be arriving to arrest you very, very soon. That is absolute bollocks. Seriously, Brian Kane would never do that to us. He's one of my best friends. He's just done nothing but help me out over the years. I knew you wouldn't believe me. So unfortunately... I'll have to send you the video message that Brian sent me this morning. Watch it, boot, then pack your things quickly. Do you hear about that? Then it's a video message. Check it out. Hi, good know it's Kano. Look, mate, I'm in a spot of bother here. Um, Interpol finally cottoned on that it wasn't a hay fever medicine, it was actually cocaine. And I've been caught in Colombia. And I'm looking at 60 years. But my lawyer's managed to anger me a plea deal. He said he can get my sentence massively reduced if I hand over Bud and CCPO. There's not something I wanted to do, but I have to think of my family. I need to put them first. I'm sure they would rather me be away for 10 years than the rest of my life. So if you do see Bud and CCPO, Tell him I'm sorry. Oh my God. We are screwed. Shit. What are we going to do? Look, yeah, the important thing is we got there in the end. So don't worry about it, mate. I've got both of your backs. I know you're in Scotland and I have a safe house for you in the Highlands. You can go there and nobody will find you. But listen, Boo, this is different. No more quick name changes. No more being a football manager. 
This is a hard reset. You will be going deep underground for a long time. Fucking hell. Um, what can I say, man? I'm, I'm sorry. I just thought, I, I thought it was you. I thought all you wanted to do is find out where we are so you could dob us in. I didn't think Brian Kane would do it. Let's not dwell on it right now, okay? Let's just get you both safe and secure. I will send you over the coordinates to the safe house. I've prepared supplies and a burner phone, and I'll contact you very soon. You will find them at the house. I will get you out of this. Just try not to worry. Now pack light and move sharp. Shit. This is freaking serious, mate. This is it. It's done. It's over. And our lives are in the hands of Greeno. Of all the people in the world we have to trust right now, it's freaking Greeno. You heard the man. Pack your shit up. It's time to go.